Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June. Okay, so this is for June, Gemini. What do we got for Gemini? The world, the world. So the world is a major completion of some sort of cycle in your life that was big, that taught you a lesson. This is a completion. This is moving towards the future. So this is like a long-term project phase, whatever has is coming to an end and you are about to embark on a new journey. Some of you may be even getting some public recognition, you know, um, or worldwide success or maybe traveling this could be a change of residence this is a whole new you this is going with the flow being in the flow um excellent i mean this is the end of a cycle in your life so you are about to embark on a new cycle major completion of some sort leaving something behind leaving something behind what do we got for Gemini? That is a, an a con. Ooh, this one just flipped. Hostilities. So the end of hostilities. This is the end. I don't know if you've been in a hostile situation. Let's just flip it so you can see it. You know, I feel like you must have been. You know, but it's reversed. So it's the end of a hostile situation. What do we got for Gemini? Hostilities coming to the end. The end of some sort of battle. Ooh, appreciation. It's interesting that I mentioned the world, maybe some sort of recognition. Appreciation is kind of like recognition, getting some sort of appreciation. Romance may also be in the air because when you folk, when I see a rose, I think of romance, I think of love. Um, so getting some sort of appreciation. Um, this is success. It is accomplishment. So you're going to be getting some sort of recognition of some sort being appreciated somebody appreciates you what do we got for gemini mm, doesn't want responsibility so there's somebody that you're dealing with that doesn't want responsibility never gonna happen something is never gonna happen maybe you're gonna be appreciating yourself I mean this does kind to kind of remind me of the nine of Pentacles I mean this is the end of something significant in your life maybe it's a phase where you didn't appreciate yourself or you didn't love yourself there's obviously somebody here that doesn't want responsibility and they're never gonna change The world card is leaving something behind because that journey is over. So we do have the end of a journey here or a phase in your life. Whoever you're dealing with is doesn't want responsibility. Okay. Needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. So there's a wish that is going to be granted for you. You are going to have some sort of success. You will be appreciated. A wish is going to be granted. And I wonder if there's somebody that is working against you and they're not going to be successful. Because there's a sincere wish that is going to be granted for you. Mm. What do we got for Gemini? June. What do we got for Gemini for June? Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So this is about stability, financial stability. It's interesting because in May, I think you got the jackpot card every time. Financial stability, long-term stability, something you can hold on to. 
security, hard work paying off, very secure. You may be getting an offer, it could be a job offer, a work offer, maybe it has, maybe it's an increase. Some sort of uh, hard work is bringing you some sort of security. Payout of some sort, getting a payout. Five of Pentacles, Hermit, Strength reversed, and the King of Swords reversed. So this is some sort of poverty or lack or neglect or abandonment, but thinking, going within, reflecting, uh, coming up with a new plan. I wonder if you've been struggling financially or there's been some sort of financial lack here or there's been some sort of abandonment. This is the end of abandonment. It's, trust me, it is. It's the end of lack because this is a major ending, getting some sort of appreciation. This is enlightenment. Um, soul searching, reflecting, thinking, going within, coming up with another plan, seeing things clearly, coming out of the darkness, something is going to be seen or you're getting a new vision or a new idea, um, getting some sort of clarity um, or somebody else's because this is seeing things clearly. There's been some sort of neglect or lack or abandonment or being left out in the cold or lack but that's coming to an end ooh the empress reversed now lack of self-worth lack of nurturing and wasn't a very fertile time there was a lack of fertility there was a lack of growth somebody wasn't taking care of business or they weren't trying hard to nurture something or make something grow but this is enlightenment it is enlightenment it's coming up with another plan to make something grow because this is blossoming. You see how the block, this is like, there's some sort of abundance here that's coming, but this is a, this is a lack of nurturing. I wonder if there's been, somebody's been not taking care of themselves or not taking care of, uh, maybe they didn't know their value or something like that. But this is enlightenment becoming enlightened maybe it's about something about appreciating yourself appreciating your work the empress in reverse is somebody that lacks self-value lacks self-love that maybe have sex without love you know um somebody that that uh is very needy very um maybe possessive or jealous or um doesn't take care of themselves there's been some sort of lack here I feel like a lot of it is self-love. Anyhow, let's go over here. Doesn't want responsibility. Not We have somebody here that is weak, that is abusive. This is the person that doesn't want responsibility. I don't know if you didn't know your value and if you've been begging for somebody to give you attention that doesn't see your value because you don't even see your value. I don't know. Anyhow, because this is like begging, you know, being ghosted and abandoned now seeing something but anyhow back over to here strength card reverse this is some you got somebody here that is power crazed that has control issues that is abusive maybe obsessive compulsive this person really doesn't want responsibility they just want to be in control they want to be the boss they want to dominate this person um has ego issues there's somebody over here that has ego issues they lie, they're, they're domineering, they're, they're controlling, they're abusive, they say a lot of mean things, they're ruthless. Um, this may be a bully. There's somebody over here that may be trying to bully you, trying to control you, you know, trying, saying a lot of mean things to bring you down. This person is weak though. They're, they're mentally weak, so they, you know, I feel like you really don't have anything to worry about. Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is typically a spark. It's a drive. It's a desire. It 
to do something. Somebody's I feel like there is somebody around you that is is trying to uh, I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe have sex. Just saying. I mean, this is a very passionate energy. But the King of Swords reverse is typically not a good person. Never gonna happen. This person is trying to I don't know get you going. Somebody's trying to get you going. They, they may be trying to make you weak, trying to make you crumble, trying to control you. Oh. Ah. Devil and four of pentacles reverse now. They just flipped. Now the devil is temptation. It is lust. Okay, and this is lust as well. So there may be some lust here. Um, nothing you can hold on to. Nothing solid. Nothing stable. Nothing secure. You may be tempted. You may be tempted by somebody. Maybe maybe there's somebody here that doesn't, you know, that thinks you don't know your value. That thinks, you know, you're not an empress. You know, oh, the empress in reverse is somebody that's not an empress. That is somebody that does sleep around. That doesn't know their value. That has sex without love. Okay, you're going to have to think about your value. You have to appreciate yourself. You have to think about what you deserve. Okay, just so you know. I mean, that's what I see here. Anyhow, um, this won't be for everybody. But anyhow, the devil is an addiction. It is a trauma bond. It is a codependent situation that you need to let go of. It's not solid. It's not real. It's not stable. It's not long term. It brings instant gratification. There may be a strong sexual pull towards this person or a strong a desire to uh, give your power away to this person for some reason. But I would say that there's no opportunity for long term anything here. I feel like... Uh, you need to do some soul searching and think about your value, okay? And so I think that's, that you're probably going to receive an offer from somebody or an opportunity from somebody. Sorry, let me just fix this. An opportunity from somebody that is toxic, that is unhealthy, that has no uh, desire to hold on okay this is not something that you can hold on to it could be dealing with a capricorn could also and this person maybe you're going to be making a decision to let go of this person i mean i don't know this is let go let go this is this is this is let go it's time to relax maybe you need to let go of something to have peace Anyhow, a sincere wish will be granted you may not you may not realize it you may not you're going to be tempted by some sort of abusive individual who, I don't know, maybe you just, maybe you have a, I mean, this is a lesson needing to be learned. I feel like you, some of you may have learned the lesson, some of you may have not. We got the Empress reversed here. <sighs> doing some soul searching. Somebody is doing some soul searching. You're going to, somebody is going to be reaching out, I believe. This person is not being honest they're untrustworthy and maybe you've been hoping and praying for this person to reach out i don't know i mean a sincere wish is going to be granted but it's coming from somebody that may not have good traits it's it's not good traits this is not somebody that this person is controlling this person is abusive this person has addictions this person may be attractive because anything that the devil brings to you is extremely attractive to you it's something that is desirable that it's a test it is a test it's a test of what you've learned it's a test of your self-love it's a test of the lessons that you've learned so you are going to be tested you definitely are this person may start to show you some sort of appreciation after they've abandoned you. They've neglected you. Now they're, now, they're, now they're coming out of hiding to see if you've learned your lesson about your value, about your worth. <clears throat> mm. 
never gonna happen. You are gonna receive an offer. You're gonna receive an exciting opportunity to start over. But this, there's somebody here that really doesn't want responsibility. This is a strong bond though. Maybe you've been hoping and praying for this person to open up to you. Maybe they're going to be opening up their heart to you. I mean, the King of Swords reverse can be somebody that's opening up their heart. <laughs> we have that never going to happen above it. Star card is a wish being granted. It's a, it's a dream come true. Right? It is. It's a new purpose. It's, it's unexpected help. It's guaranteed success. Typically, it's a blessing in disguise. Is it, there is a blessing, but the, and this is an exciting opportunity, but, but the strength card reversed, that is like uh, weak, okay? Is this person may make you, you may feel weak, you know, this person may make you feel weak because they're so, uh, attractive to you in some way. You definitely, I feel like you're going to be very attractive to this person, but this person, the king of swords in reversed is, you know, this person may be acting on their feelings, yes, you know, but this person deep down has some negative traits. Well, we all do, right? Maybe this person is just very forceful. They're very controlling, you know, they, they, uh, have addictions of some sort. Maybe it's obsessive compulsive disorder or something. One more card. A wish is going to be granted. Something that you have been desiring is going to happen. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, Libra. Ah, Hierophant. Now the Hierophant is about commitment. Now we have Taurus, heaven or hell. Mm. Heaven or hell, that's fun. Both. <laughs> Anyhow, this is a very, uh, this is a wish, a wish is being granted, okay? A wish is going to be granted. This has to do with commitment. You need to have faith. This is a card of faith. You need to believe in yourself. You need to listen to your gut, okay? This is a card of uh, listening to your gut, believing in yourself, uh, learning, you're learning some sort of lesson. This does have to do with commitment. This is a new spark. It is a sudden desire. I don't know if there is somebody here that, you know, has abused you in the past or they've neglected you or they lied or something like that. This, everybody has negative traits. Uh, anyhow, this is like, this is a new commitment, a new, I mean, this is like having all the desires, the worldly desires being met, opening up. This is opening up. You need to have faith. <laughs> a sincere wish is going to be granted. I feel like you're going to be surprised. You're going to need to be open-minded. Maybe you're going to want to shut it down. Maybe this makes you feel weak. It makes you feel uneasy. It probably does. Never going to happen. Something is never going to happen. doesn't want responsibility it doesn't look like it's long term it may be short-lived four years I don't know new commitment good luck